to 3D print teeth for characterization. Start by selecting the new build option when the program loads. Locate the preferred printer for use. Select the material to use for the print and the layer thickness to print. 50 micron layers will take longer to print but will have a higher surface quality and resolution to the build. 100 micron layers will be a faster print but will have a lower quality surface detail. Select your thickness, then hit OK. The next step is to import the STL files to use. Click the Add Parts icon in the top left corner of the builder. Hit Select Files and choose the objects to print. Select Open and then Open again. Now both sets of teeth are viewable in the builder. If just for characterization, the supports for the print can be placed on the underside of the teeth in the builder. If printing to use for a patient, then it's better to print the supports vertically on the anterior region of the teeth. Next, place the teeth so they are horizontal to the build plate, with the teeth facing up. If printing more than one set of each teeth, right-click on the teeth and select Clone. A duplicate will appear in the builder. These will be placed vertically to the build plate with the teeth facing down. When looking from a top point of view, it's helpful to make all the prints in line with each other and not overlapping on the build plate. To move the teeth left, click on the object you wish to move. Hold and move the teeth. Let go when satisfied with the placement. If there are objects on the print plate that should not be, simply right-click and select Delete. In the upper left corner of the build, you can see the parts list. Highlighting these will also select the print they are associated with in the builder. To move all the pieces at the same time, highlight all the pieces in the list. Now, all the prints can be moved simultaneously into place. Because each print may be for different purposes, they may be placed in different directions on the build plate. From here, the supports can be applied. When the build objects are orientated in the correct way, select the Generate Supports tab in the Builder menu and select Apply. Once applied, the build plate can be rotated on screen to check integrity of the print job because the supports are very small. This allows for little scarring to be left behind when removing supports from the build. Check all sides of the build to ensure the whole print job is inside the dimensions of the build area. After ensuring the print job is ready, the next step is to submit the job to the printer. Click the Build icon in the menu bar. The Build Wizard window will open. The first window is an outline of the print job parameters and the material being used, along with a place to add a lot number if needed. Click Next. If this build is using the same information as a previous build, the Print Optimization buttons may already be selected. If not, make sure the fast print mode is checked on. The build time for this print is estimated to be 1 hour, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. If the fast time mode is disabled, the build time becomes 1 hour, 52 minutes and 30 seconds. Next, make sure the base plate thickness is at least 0.4 mm thick, then select Next. The Advanced Parameters page will now appear. No settings on this page can be adjusted. Click Next again to view the Summary page. Located on the Summary page is a section to name the build you are about to send to the printer. After naming the print, press Send Build to send the job to the printer. Once the build is finished being sent to the printer, select View Slices. Here you can view the layers being sent to the printer and ensure nothing is missing and no mistakes have been made in designing the teeth for characterizations.